The models that this video pertains to are the 43, 50, 55, and 65 PFL 5604 slash F7 space A or slash F7 space C, as well as the 43, 50, 55, and 65 PFL 5704 backslash F7 space A. Well, hello, welcome to the fourth video in our series. In this video, we're going to customize the home screen for our Philips 2020 Android television. There are any number of things that one might want to customize, but the most usually, anyway, the first one that someone wants to customize is they want to add an application that wasn't pre-installed. Um, you see here that this television comes with Netflix, Vudu, YouTube. Well, that's three apps. I thought Android had millions of apps. Well, it does. Well, maybe not millions, but thousands. Um, and some of the more, I think, popular applications that are out there these days um, are very easy to find after your initial setup. They are down here under the Apps Spotlight. And you can just kind of go along and find the app that you're interested in. I'm going to select YouTube TV. And you can just select it and then click Install. That will install the application. You can then go back to your home screen, find another application that you might be interested in. Let's select Disney Plus here. And you can install that one as well. So this is sort of the first time you turn on your TV and you're looking for apps. This is the shortcut to find some of the more popular apps. So we've now added a couple of apps to the television and I will show you what that entails and what that means in a second. But there is another way to add apps that I think is going to be a better way for you long term. And the way that you would add apps and find apps that are not in the spotlight, if you're looking for some of the more, let's say esoteric applications, or you just wanna see everything that, that's in the Play Store, you can click to the left of the first row and highlight that circle that's labeled apps. Click on apps and up will pop a screen that has a big icon already highlighted that's labeled get more apps. This particular icon will do the exact same thing as opening the Google Play Store down here will do, but it's just a quicker shortcut that auto highlights. So if you select get more apps, you're now going to open the full Play Store and you're going to just see row after row of different applications, some of which were not popular enough to be in the spotlight row. So I don't know if you're into anime and you want to add Crunchyroll, you can add that here. Um, and you see a whole, you know, slew, if you will, of applications. There's games, there's free TV, there's sports, uh, family-oriented apps, fitness-oriented apps. Um, while you're in the Google Play Store, in case you don't want to spend all of your time wandering through it hoping to find something, you can simply move to the very top and select the search bar which is that little magnifying glass there, and you can type in whatever you are looking for. So I have not added Pluto TV to this particular television yet, so I'm gonna type PL and oh, look, there it is. So I'm going to add Pluto TV and install that. Now, some other things that you might wanna consider as a new Android TV owner, this television, like most Android televisions, does not come with a, an internet browser installed, nor does it come with a media player installed. The choice is entirely up to you as to which media player or mi which browser you might want to use. Um, but one of the ones that we have found that works very well is a browser that's called Puffin. So if you wanted to search for and install a browser, you could simply type PU and you see, oh, Puffin TV fast web browser. Let's install that. And there it is. So you select it and install it. And now if you wanted to browse the internet on your TV, um, you would have that capability. And as regards media players, there is a very well-known media player there are any number of them. I'm only going to highlight the one that I personally like to use, although there are others you can try out. Um, 
maybe one of the others will meet your needs better than the one I'm going to show you. But if you've used VLC on a computer before, you're gonna recognize the icon even though it's not labeled. It's the one with the little traffic cone right here. And if you select that and install it, you will now have a media player so that if you put a USB stick in the back of the TV and you wanna watch photos or videos, etc., cetera, um, you'll be able to play media on this television. So that's a quick overview of the Play Store of how to find apps that are very popular and are in the spotlight, as well as how to search for and find other applications in the Play Store. Now, we can also go back to the home screen here and we can start customizing. So if you recall, I mentioned in the previous video that this top row labeled apps on the left, this is where your favorites show up. Now. Any application that you add to the television doesn't automatically become a favorite unless you go over here to this plus button and say, I would like that application to now be a favorite. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, uh, you know what? I would like YouTube TV to be a favorite. And you see that now it appears right there on the favorites uh, row. I can add as many of these as I want to. So if I want to add Disney Plus and Crunchyroll, you now see that I have a whole row of favorites there. So that's how you, after you add an application, you put it on that top row so you have quick and easy access to it. So that's one important customization that you might want to do to the home screen. The next customization that you might choose to do is you might choose to go all the way to the bottom and customize your channels. Now, any of the applications that you have installed on this television that have their own row of content, you can turn that row off. So I don't personally use Google Play Music. Let's get rid of it. Um, I am not going to use the YouTube recommended channel. I don't care about recommendations, uh, or rather trending, I should say. That may be default on for you. My personal settings have it off. So now I'm gonna turn off the trending channel and only leave the recommended channel on. I could also get rid of the recommended channel if I want, in which case there would be nothing from YouTube on the home screen other than the YouTube icon at the top that you see is still a favorite. Now the other customizations that you can do, um, you can scroll down here and get rid of the promotional channels. So sometimes, you know, the, the Google Play app spotlight, they're going to want you to click on things. And if you're not interested in that, just turn off that spotlight row. Now that spotlight row is great when you first come into the television because it shows you popular apps. But once you know how to use the Google Play Store, you might want to get rid of that app spotlight row, um, which I've now done. So if you look, all I have left are now three rows. I have my applications with my favorites showing. I have Netflix, I have YouTube, and that's it. So I've cleaned up the home screen a little bit. Now there's a deeper level of customization that we wanna also demo for you, and that is how do you get rid of an application that you don't want? So we notice here that we have this application, let's, let's just pick one that I don't want. Let's say I don't want Vudu for some reason. I don't use it, I don't have a subscription, it's not useful to me. In order to customize and delete an application, you can go down here where it says apps in the settings menu. So you click on the gear in the upper right for settings and then you select apps. And then we can go down here where it says see all apps. And ho, oh, look, there's a bunch of them. But I can scroll down until I find the application that I don't want. And I can disable that application. Now, since it was a pre-installed application, you can't totally delete it, but you can disable it. Once you disable it, you will see it is no longer in my favorites bar. I never have to see that particular icon again. So we have now customized that home screen and we've got the applications that we prefer. And that's very useful indeed. Further customization can be found under, can be found rather, under the device preferences menu. And you'll see down here that you have a home screen menu. So if you go into settings, device preferences, home screen, 
Now you can even more finely tune your home screen experience. If you get annoyed by video previews, every time you come to the home screen, there are video previews and you're just like, oh, please stop. I don't need you to tell me what's on. You can turn off video previews. You can also turn off audio previews. Um, you can reorder any of the applications or any of the games that are on the screen. So if I wanna reorder these applications, I can. You know, maybe I wanna change a couple of the spots here and move Netflix around. Uh, maybe I would rather have, let's see, let's put YouTube TV as right there behind um, the help icon or the, the, rather the help application. So we can reorder things and you now see that YouTube TV is visible on the home screen because I have put it in that fifth spot. Um, so that's how you reorder applications. Now on the home screen itself, you'll recall we have different rows that pertain to the applications that are capable of showing rows. Netflix and YouTube are the two that I've left installed here. Maybe I don't want Netflix to be the top application. Maybe I would prefer YouTube to be the top application. So I'm going to show you how to reorder these rows. You cannot move the application row, but you can move any other row and put it in any order that you want. And the way you do that is you go to the left of the row that you want to move, and you'll see that the circle, in this case Netflix, is now highlighted. You move left again, and you will see that a circle has come up, and it has a down-pointing arrow. That's because I can't move Netflix above apps, but I can move it down. So if I press my down arrow here after hitting select, Netflix is now the bottom row. Now, if I wanted to change that, let's say, ah, uh, now I want Netflix to be the top. I can highlight recommended YouTube, go left, click once to select that row and move it down and then click again to drop it. So that is how you customize your home screen and add apps, delete apps, and change what content that you have on the home screen, removing advertising if you'd like, etc. So hopefully this has been a quick tour that shows you how to get the most out of the home screen and it's been helpful for you. In the next video, we're going to go into a little bit more detail related to some of the key settings on this television. Um, the main settings that I think are going to be useful are how do you adjust picture settings? How do you auto program the TV if you skipped it in the initial setup, etc.? So please check back for the next video in the series where we'll go into a deeper dive on how to customize the actual picture that's on the screen, um, as well as inputs and resolutions supported by peripheral devices. So thanks for watching.